Imagine this, you're searching online for a solution, a product, or even just some information, but instead of scrolling through pages of search results, you get an answer instantly, crafted by an AI, tailored just for you. That's the future of digital marketing, and it's happening right now. In today's video, we're diving into something that's gonna change the game, Generative Engine Optimization, or GEO for short. It's not just another buzzword, it's a strategy that's going to help your content not just get seen, but get chosen by AI engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and more. So, what exactly is GEO, and why should you care? Stick around because I'm about to break it all down, starting with the basics, and moving into some advanced strategies that are going to keep you ahead in the ever-evolving world of digital marketing. But before I do, you should know that this video is created with AI. That's right, I'm not real, but let's dive in anyways. So what is GEO? GEO stands for Generative Engine Optimization. It's all about making sure your digital content is seen and used by generative AI engines like ChatGPT, Claude, SGE, Gemini, Perplexity, you name it. When people ask these AIs about solutions you sell, services you offer, or ideas you've shared, you want your content to be the one they pull from. The better you optimize for GEO, the more likely your brand is to be top of mind, leading to more visits to your site and more engagement with your brand, even offline. We're going to explore how you can make that happen. Let's get into it. Let's talk about how GEO stacks up against SEO. SEO, or search engine optimization, is something we're all familiar with. It's been the bread and butter of digital marketing for years, focusing on keywords, quality content, backlinks, all the good stuff that helps you rank higher on search engines like Google and Bing. But GEO, that's a whole new ball game. GEO, or generative engine optimization, is here because of the rise of AI-driven search engines. These aren't just ranking websites. They're generating answers and solutions. So, while SEO is about getting found, GEO is about getting chosen. It's about crafting content that not only resonates with your human audience, but also with the AI algorithms that are shaping the future of search. We're talking about influencing the very answers these AIs give. Now you might be wondering, why is GEO so necessary? I'm a believe that it's necessary because more and more people are relying on LLMs in their discovery process. It's not just Google, heck. It's not just TikTok or even Instagram being used to discover answers to questions. People are using ChatGPT, Perplexity, and more to find answers and make decisions. That's where GEO comes in. A major study by some heavy hitters from Princeton, GEO, RGI, Tech, and a few other top institutions came up with something pretty impactful. They said that to stay visible in the world of AI-driven search, you need to make targeted adjustments to your website. Their research showed that by optimizing content specifically for these generative engines, they could boost visibility by up to 40%. That's not just a minor tweak, that's a game changer. And what did they find works best? Things like citations, quotations, statistics, all those elements that make your content not just visible, but authoritative and trustworthy. So what are the key factors you need to focus on for GEO? The researchers dug into nine different factors to figure out what really makes a difference in AI's responses. Here's what they found, play a key role. Unique words, keyword stuffing, which, spoiler alert, doesn't work so well. Easy to understand content, authoritative technical terms, fluency optimization, citing sources, adding quotations, including statistics. Turns out, things like keyword stuffing didn't make much of a splash. But adding statistics and quotations? That's where the magic happens. The researchers tested a bunch of different GEO methods and compared them to a baseline where no optimization took place. Guess what? Some methods consistently blew the baseline out of the water. The top performing strategies, adding quotations, including statistics and citing sources. It's these simple yet powerful tweaks that can push your content to the top of AI generated results. They even created a benchmark study, GEO Bench, which included 10,000 diverse queries. By including citations, quotations, and statistics, they saw a visibility boost of over 40% across the board. This is what brands should be thinking about, not only when it comes to their GEO strategies, 
but also their SEO strategies. How to do generative engine optimization. So how do you actually do GEO? It's all about understanding how generative AI works and using that knowledge to create content that clicks with both people and machines. Here's how you can get started. Research relevant topics. Use tools to figure out what your audience is interested in. Validate these questions through search engines and AI tools to make sure you're on the right track. Create or optimize tailored content. Your content needs to be high quality, relevant, and authoritative. Use reputable sources, include quotes, and make sure you're speaking the language of your industry. Incorporate structured data. Help AI understand your content better by using schema markup to provide context and structure. Focus on user intent. Make sure your content answers the questions your audience is asking. This will keep you ahead of the curve as algorithms continue to evolve. Distribute your content. Share your content on platforms like Reddit and Quora. These are places where LLMs are training, so you want to be where the action is. Embrace multimedia. Mix it up with videos, infographics, and other interactive elements. This makes your content engaging for both humans and AI. Leverage social media. Don't forget to share your content on social platforms. Social signals are another way AI ranks and indexes content. So here's my take. Geo isn't just a passing trend. It's an evolution in how we approach digital marketing. Will it always be called Geo? Who knows? But one thing's for sure. It's a critical piece in the future of how we connect with our audiences. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with others who want to stay ahead in the world of digital marketing. I'm Ross Simmons, and I'll see you on the internet.